Uh, it started at a very early age. Um, I have cerebral palsy, which, um, which affects the motor development of a child. So it also affected my handwriting. So I could not write very legibly. So, I, so my parents got me a manual typewriter. You are talking about before computers came, came, came into the household. So we started out with a manual typewriter, progressed to an electronic typewriter, then, then progressed to the home computer. Now when we got to the home computer, I, thought, I realized that besides typing letters, I could do a lot more on the computer, like, like write programs and things. So I think the first program that I wrote, I, I was eight years old. Yes, so I was eight years old. And since then, I just fell in love with, with the idea of creating stuff electronically. Well, after, I mean, at that, at that age, after that, I took a break away from it because we moved to Ghana at the time, and I had a lot of other issues that I was dealing with at the time. But um, beyond that, it, it was only after I finished my dip diploma in, 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 in the management of, of information systems when I was 16 that I realized that this is the aspect of, of IT that I wanted to specialize in. So I, the diploma exposed me to various aspects of IT and, and I realized that programming is, is the most interesting part of it for me. I, I don't consider myself as that, but then hey, um, it, was, it was a great honor for me to, uh, to get that award. Because for once, they had no idea that I was disabled when, when they gave me that award. So I had been assessed based on my, on my professional performances alone. And that is what made me really happy about receiving that award. Because I always say people with disabilities, I don't think we want preferential treatment. We just want the playing ground to be even so that we can compete as, as, as competitively as, as anybody else without a disability. That. So, so it was funny, but, but when they called my name and I got up and, to, and received their award, you should have seen the, the expression on, on the judges' faces. They were so shocked, they were so distant, and they were so happy that, that, they, had, that they had given me that award. I had no idea why, why, they were, why they were so happy, but later on they told me that, that this was it. What happened was I was working with, um, with a microfinance company. Um, after I left the IT company that I used to work for, Ranka Solutions, I, I worked with a microfinance company for two years. While I was there, I developed a banking solution for them. And it gave them a competitive edge that, that no other microfinance company had because it, for one, there was, there was a tailored solution that fit the, the industry's needs and, uh, and they could use it with, with, with a minimum investment in server infrastructure and all those things. So, while, so while, while I was there, other microfinance companies came up to us and said they wanted to use the software. And we were like, it's not, it's not for sale because, because we developed it for this company. But then the, but then the one who founded the microfinance company decided that this, this is a great business opportunity. So why don't we, we, we go and set up a new software company so that we can, we can expose it to other microfinance companies in Ghana. So that's how this first step. Hi, my name is Farida Badri and I am a game changer.